Now, senior day always a special day for every player in every sport, but for Ty Nurse, the lone senior on this Texas Tech basketball team, it's an extra special senior day, more than seven years in the making. Nurse a three! On Saturday against Texas, Ty Nurse's mother will be in the stands like many of the other players' parents. The difference, though, this is her first time. Nice to meet you. Not just Carol Storm's first time to Lubbock. This week, her first time to watch her son play since 10th grade. It's been so long. Well, forever. Actually, that's how long it's been. This is our first time watching him in person play. Usually it's on the internet. I was probably 14, 15 years old. And just to see you know, her son now, 22 years old, playing basketball, this is very special. Oh. Nurse growing up 2,000 miles away in Vancouver, British Columbia, before leaving home to go to prep school, from there to junior college in Midland, and from there to Texas Tech. But the nurse working the all-night shift, 34-31. Now a much different basketball player and a much different man than the boy who left home seven years ago. He's just grown, and we've all grown with him along the way. It's been, you know, a close family experience. Just learned a lot about life and everything basketball. You know, basketball teaches you a lot about life, you know, about teamwork and um, interacting with people, you know, and just, I've grown a lot, and, you know, I credit that to basketball and, you know, Texas Tech as well. They've taught me a lot. He delivers. Ty Nurse from the right wing. When you send your kid off and, you know, you teach them all the core values and they go off and they become good stewards of it and they're great citizens. I mean, it's very proud. When I met her today, she was so proud and so happy uh, to see the way uh, uh, Ty has turned out. And, you know, a lot of that is a credit to the people that he's been around. And, and hopefully I've done my small part in continuing what she actually taught him when he was a little kid. And his mom has not seen him play since probably 10th grade. Or he only gets to go home once a year. And now she's here watching him on senior night. Wouldn't you guys love to send Ty out on that type of note? I'm There's watershed moments in your life, things that you'll never forget. This will be a great one. I mean, a great one, especially against Texas, will be unbelievable for us to send him out that way. I know we're going to play hard. Let's go get a win. Let's go win for Ty, guys. Senior day. And I've always said to Ty, Ty, the, the, the time is ticking. You know, it's going to be your last game sooner or later. And you, and you don't ever want to leave with regret. So leave everything on the court. Exhaust yourself on the court and exhaust yourself in life. You know, live to the fullest. And, uh, and hopefully the guys will play for him on, uh, on Saturday. And, and we have a great ending for Ty. A chance at a perfect ending to a story that's been pretty great, thanks in part to the people of West Texas. The community of Lubbock, you know, just... The way they embrace me, you know, coming from Canada, you know, it might be a little intimidating, but uh, the people here are very welcoming, and um, you know, and that's that's why I love about Texas, you know, and there'll always be a little piece of my heart, you know, with Texas. So, really appreciate that. At two, no three, family on six, one, two, three. At two, one, five, six, family. family. A little piece of Texas in his heart, and a chance to beat Texas on Saturday in front of the home fans one last time, and in front of his biggest fan, his mother, one last time. For Texas Tech TV, I'm Brandon Rowdy.